The energy sector represents 70% of global emissions worldwide. That is about 35 gigatons total worldwide for CO2. If we are very serious about decarbonizing, we need to kick any technology that is polluting out of the picture. We design power plants with no emissions, with the sole purpose to decarbonize the power sector. I grew up in the Canary Islands. It's an archipelago of the coast of Africa. It's paradise. I will do hikes with my dad and my siblings for hours, and I miss having enough time to go into nature. I always had a fascination for big machines, so I did my bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering, particularly power systems. I would move to the Netherlands to do my master's degree in sustainable energy. What brought me to the US was an invitation of UC Berkeley to work on the decarbonization of engines. I put my resources together, figured out how to make it, and I made it to the US. Combustion engines have been around since the 1900s. They have been pushing our economy since then and continue to do so. Powering hospitals, power universities, they power the grid, they power your ships. Unfortunately, those engines emit a lot, so we need to do something with them if we want to continue to rely on them. We take a power plant running on a fossil fuel system, we capture the carbon. In doing so, we increase the efficiency. Therefore, you end with a power plant that is cheaper to operate and cleaner than any other power plant was before. Our technology is fuel agnostic. We don't have to run on fossil fuels. We don't want to run on fossil fuel. Our ultimate goal is to be a hydrogen energy storage solution. In the meantime, however, natural gas is still the fuel of choice. When you burn natural gas, you get CO2 as a byproduct. How do we capture that CO2? We create a high pressure closed loop that allows us to push the CO2 through a membrane to get the CO2 out. That CO2 is liquefied and then stored down the ground forever. Think of a normal power plant. It takes fuel, it takes air, it combusts the oxygen in the air with the fuel, and out comes emissions and power. But air is mainly composed of nitrogen. And nitrogen generates NOx when under heavy or aggressive combustion. By getting rid of nitrogen, we get rid of air pollution, so we don't use air anymore. We use argon as part of our thermodynamic process, and argon is known to be a very well-behaved gas, even under really stressful situations, therefore the word noble. It's ideal. It's ideal for a thermodynamic process. By getting rid of nitrogen, CO2, and choosing the ideal gas, the noble gas, we can actually push the efficiency tremendously on both an internal combustion engine as much as on a gas turbine. Engines are all over the place. They power your ships. That is a market we're gonna go after. You can tie air pollution directly to low-income or disadvantaged communities. West Oakland has emission levels three times higher than average in Bay Area. They are close to a lot of diesel tracks. They are close to a gas turbine. They are close to many of these systems. We wanna make decarbonization work for all. We are not gonna do that alone. If we decarbonize the US, that is five gigatons of CO2. That is all the transportation emissions worldwide. And that is what we are working very hard to do. I am Miguel Sierra Aznar. I'm the CEO and founder of Novo Thermodynamics. Dynamics.